June 26th. On this day we celebrate the memory of our venerable father David of Thessalonica. This earthly angel and heavenly man renounced his earthly land of Mesopotamia and all worldly attachment at an early age to take up his cross and follow the Lord by becoming a monk in the monastery of St. Theodore and Mercurius, generally known as of the Cuculates, that is, the monks with cowls, in Thessalonica. He mortified the desires of the flesh by a sustained ascesis and was guided in the science of virtue by meditating on Holy Scripture and the lives of the saints. The holy stylites Simeon the Elder, Simeon of the Wonderful Mountain, Daniel, Patapius, and those like them enjoyed his special admiration. And burning with desire to imitate them, he climbed up into an almond tree to the right of the church and settled on one of its branches as a new kind of stylite, a dendrite. Offering himself as a spectacle to both angels and men, he patiently endured all the rigors of the climate, battered by the wind, burnt by the sun, drenched by the rain and exposed to cold and snow during the winter. He was even deprived of the stability that the stylites enjoyed on their columns, and perched on his branch was like a bird that continually lifted up its voice night and day to God in sweet melodies of his prayers and ceaseless thanksgivings. Devout men full of zeal for virtue became his disciples and begged him to come down from his perch to become their guide in the monastic life. David replied that he would only do so after three years if he received a sign from God to do so. When three years had passed, an angel appeared to him and made it clear that he had pleased God by his manner of heavenly life, but that, that it was now time to descend and to retire to a cell before being given another mission. St. David made this message known to his disciples, who, after having prepared a new dwelling for him, a tiny space, made him get down from his branch. This he did in the presence of Metropolitan Dorotheus of Thessalonica and a large number of clerics. The divine liturgy was celebrated, after which the saint entered into reclusion to the accompaniment of a spiritual concert of hymns and thanksgiving. Praying continually without distraction, the saint acquired extraordinary grace and fervor from God. One night the soldiers who were keeping guard on the ramparts of the city saw that fire was streaming from his cell. As soon as morning came, they rushed to the cell, but found to their amazement that it was completely undamaged and that the man of God was safe and sound. The same miracle happened again and again, and the whole population became witnesses of it. One of the city's inhabitants, Palladius by name, having seen this miracle occur several times, said to himself, if God accords such glory to his servants on earth, what must be the glory reserved for them in the age to come when their faces will shine like the sun? And he then left to become a monk in Egypt. From this glory of God, which was the object of his contemplation, St. David received the power to drive out demons. He also gave sight to the blind and healed all manner of sicknesses, invoking the name of Christ and in this way being regarded by the whole town as its guardian angel. At that time the combined forces of the Slav and Avar hordes, who had already ravaged almost the whole of Macedonia, were threatening Sirmium, where the prefect of Illyricum was living. He wrote to Aristides, metropolitan of Thessalonica, asking him to send a virtuous man as an ambassador to Emperor Justinian, to ask him for permission to transfer his residence to Thessalonica, where the ramparts of the city protected it from all the assaults of the barbarians. The clerics and important officials whom the bishop gathered together all cried with one voice that only David the recluse was capable of representing them before the emperor. The saint refused at first, citing his advanced age, but remembering the message of the angel, he afterwards submitted, prophesying that he would die a short distance from his cell on his return. When St. David came out of his cell, all the people prostrated themselves on seeing his imposing figure. His hair and beard reached his feet, and his face was like that of Patriarch Abraham, shining with glory. He set out for Byzantium with two disciples, but the emperor was away when he reached the palace, and he was received by the empress Theodora, 
who asked him to pray for the salvation of the empire and of the city. On his return, the Emperor Justinian, learning that a man of God was present at the court, called together the Senate so that it might hear his request. St. David picked up live coals in his hands and, placing incense on them, sent the Emperor and all the Senate for about an hour without at all being harmed. The Emperor was greatly impressed and acceded to the request of the Metropolitan which David had presented that the seat of the Prefect of Illyricum be transferred to Thessalonica. The transfer happened in 535. He then sent David home, showing him great marks of honour. When the ship came near the lighthouse of Thessalonica, whence the saint's monastery could be seen, Saint David told his disciples that his hour had come. And after having given them the kiss of peace and uttering a last prayer, he gave his blessed soul into God's hands in about 540. Despite a strong wind, the ship came to a halt and the smell of incense filled the air while heavenly voices were heard. When they ceased, the ship continued its journey. The Metropolitan and all the people were there on the shore to welcome the saint, and he was buried in his monastery in accordance with his last request. A hundred and fifty years later, the abbot, wishing to steal part of his relics for himself, had the tomb opened, but the stone which covered the body broke into a thousand pieces. Thirty years later, the next abbot succeeded in opening the tomb and found the saint's body incorrupt. For centuries, these pre precious relics continued to work miracles. At the time of the Latin occupation, they were transferred to Pavia, but in 1978, they were restored to the Church of Thessalonica, where they have been venerated ever since. Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Saved Israel who chants a hymn of victory. 
O Holy Father David, pray to God for us. As we come together, O blessed David, we honor thine illustrious and divine memorial with hymns. For we know thee to be an heir of the light and of the day, in the divine spirit, O righteous one. Holy Father David, pray to God for Since us. Since thou hast mortified thy bodily members upon the earth, O Father, thou hast life dwelling in thy heart, even Christ, who dead in the power of the devil, who made mankind subject to death. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In obedience to the Master's laws, O righteous David, thou didst take thy cross on thy shoulders, following in his steps, and being lowly in humility, thou didst cast down the destroyer's lofty pride. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Made fair with the beauty of the virtues, O Virgin, thou gavest birth to the comely Christ, who has made mortals fair with the comely beauty of divinity, O ever Virgin. O Christ, who by thy command has fixed the earth upon nothing, and has suspended its weight unsupported, Make thy church steadfast on the unshaken rock of thy commandments, O thou who alone art good and the friend of man. O holy Father David, pray to God for us. Withering the beauty of thy body by abstinence, thou didst receive the beams of the divine spirit, and didst flash forth the glittering rays of dispassion, and the gifts of healing, O Father, you namesake of the prophet. Holy Father David, pray to God for us. By following the path of the lives of the saints, O blessed David, Thou was wholly sanctified by thy divine deeds, wherefore thou mystically sanctifies those who celebrate thy holy festival with faith, O all-blessed and God-bearing Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As thou hast put to sleep the loss of the body with unsleeping prayers and struggles, O righteous Father, thou didst truly fall asleep and repose in peace, Hence we who honour thee with longing have thee as an earnest sleeping guardian. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou art more honourable than the angels, O Virgin, for thou hast conceived him that fashioned them. Wherefore I entreat thee, O pure one, sanctify my mind, enlighten my heart, and drive away the clouds of passions. Like a sweet singing bird, thou didst fix thy nest in a tree, and thy mind soared up to the heights. For through holy abstinence thou didst make passions of the flesh, subject unto the soul, O wise Father, most blessed of God, like an angel endued with a body upon the earth. Wherefore, being made rich with the might to work wonders, Thou fluest unto the Lord, thou hadst loved from thy tender youth. For this cause we cry unto thee. Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O thou all-holy Virgin, Mother of God, heal the passions that grievously vex my soul, and grant me, I pray of thee, the forgiveness of all the sins I have senselessly wrought in transgression and foolishness, thus defiling my body and soul, wretched as I am. Woe is me, alas, what shall I do in that hour, wherein the dread angels come to rest forth my most hapless soul from my miserable body, O oh maid? O oh lady, be a help to me then, a protectress and most zealous advocate for me, thine unworthy servant, for I have thee as my hope. Perceiving thy divine condescension prophetically, O Christ, Habakkuk tried, cried to thee with trembling, Thou art come for the salvation of thy people to save thine anointed ones. 
O Holy Father David, pray to God for us. Hearkening to the life-streaming words of the Spirit, thou forsooks the salty sea of life, and it's draws up the floods of the passions with the torrents of thy tears. Holy Father David, pray to God for us. Filled with understanding and grace, O Father David, thou sought in silence after the benefactor of all, and its gain is illumination. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy way of life was renowned for the violence it did to nature, O righteous one, and with the cooperation of the Spirit it delivered man from most violent evil. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We praise thee, O all-praised Lady, who did inexpressibly conceive the supremely praised God, and has incomparably surpassed in beauty the very choirs of the angels. O thou who art clothed in light as with a garment, I rise at dawn unto thee, and to thee do I cry. Enlighten thou my gloom and shrouded soul, O Christ, in that thou alone art compassionate. O holy Father David, pray to God for us. By raising thine eyes and thy thoughts to him that was hanged on the tree, O Father, thou was able to endure in thy tree, when scorched by the sun and frozen by the snow. Holy Father David, pray to God for us. Thou didst appear holy like unto lightning, as thou art fire in thy hands, O righteous and all-blessed David, sensing the King with a mixture of incense. Holy Father David, pray to God for us. Thou now seest the divine beauty, neither darkly nor in image, but face to face, for outward semblance has been taken away, O righteous David, who art in all ways blessed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O righteous Father David, thou was the most beautiful cluster of the divine vine, gushing forth the wine of compunction for them that raged with the drunkenness of the passion. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Guide my life and the movements of my mind unto the divine will of him that ineffably came unto us from thee, O pure virgin. Calm the sea of the passions which rages with a surging that destroys the soul, O Master Christ and bring me up out of corruption, since thou art compassionate. O Holy Father David, pray to God for us. Shut up in a little dwelling, thou was made known as a dwelling of the divine spirit, O righteous David, choosing the narrow over the broad way. Holy Father David, pray to God for us. Thou didst subject thy soul to the Master's laws, O Father, and became filled with light and fit to receive the Spirit's gifts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Beautifully adorned in truth of miracles, thy life was renowned to the uttermost parts of the earth. Wherefore we acclaim thee with faith, O God-bearing Father. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. From thy pure blood, O Theotokos, flesh was woven past nature for him that fashioned man. Wherefore, as his meat, we sing thy praise. An ever-blossoming garden, bearing the fruits of the virtues, Thou didst appear in the tree of a grove like a right melodious bird, and receiving the Lord the tree of life in thy heart all the more, and cultivating it like a garden, O divinely wise one, thou hast thereby nurtured us with grace. Pray thou ever in our behalf, O most blessed David. The everlasting flame stokes the furnace of my pleasures, O venerable David. But do thou extinguish it by thy supplications, as with thy copiously flowing tears, lighting the coal of the love of my Creator, O blessed one, as of old thou dost bear one in thy hand as a sacrifice, astonishing the Emperor, that I may hymn thee, O light-bearing and most blessed David. That I may hymn thee, O light-bearing, and most blessed David. The supremely exalted Lord of our fathers quench the flame and bedewed the children who sang together, Blessed art thou, O God. 
O Holy Father David, pray to God for us. Thou was unswayed by the swayings of the tree, O righteous David, being frequently watered with the flow of thy tears, and ceaselessly singing, O God, blessed are thou. Holy Father David, pray to God for us. Raising thy whole desire unto God, O God, bearer, thou mayst thy whole heart a vessel for divine graces unto the ages. Holy Father David, pray to God for us. Since thou didst direct thy life towards the divine will, O godly-minded one, thou didst reach the chief city on high, as thou hast hoped, wherein thou hast heard thy citizenship. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The King was awestruck, seeing thee become like unto light, as thou hast life coals in thy hands, O Father. And falling down, he worshipped thee. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In thy childbirth, the curse laid on mankind was loosed, O thou who alone art altogether blessed. Wherefore we glorify thee as her that is full of grace. O Theotokos, unto the ages. Having formed a universal chorus, the children in the furnace sang unto thee, the Maker of all. O oh, all your works praise you, the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. O oh, Holy Father David, pray to God for us. Thy eyes appeared like a radiant dawn unto those in the darkness of life, O oh, blessed Father David, shining the light of knowledge on all who praise thee with longing and supremely exalt Christ unto the ages. Holy Father David, pray to God for Thou us. Thou became upright, humble, and meek, faithfully portraying David thy namesake. Wherefore, O Father, with him thou hast inherited the land of the meek unto all the ages. Holy Father David, pray to God for the us. The divinely bright pillar of monastics, the blessed David, has been shown to be another inspired prophet, foretelling things to come by the divine inspiration of the divine Spirit. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. When thou wast venerable, rendered altogether sacred and full, Full of the days of the Spirit, O Father, in holiness thou tookst leave of life in deepest old age, and thou lives unto the ages. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thee, the comeliness of Jacob, whom God has loved and has chosen, do we all praise with hymns, O Virgin, as alone ever blessed unto all of the ages. Dance, O Isaiah, the Virgin has conceived in her womb and born a son, Emmanuel, both God and man. Orient is his name, and magnifying him we call the Virgin Blessed. O Holy Father David, pray to God for us. As we come together today, let us faithfully keep the sacred festival of the Sacred Father, who shone forth in asceticism and wholly consecrated himself to God by the perfectness of his way of love. Holy Father David, pray to God for us. Thou didst flourish like a tree planted by the streams of waters, bearing the fruits of spiritual virtues, O righteous Father. And making thy nest in a tree like an eagle, thou sends thy mind soaring up to the heaven. Holy Father David, pray to God for us. Prophetically seeing thy departure, O wise and righteous David, thou didst foretell it to the people when thou wast sent to check the excessive vexation of the king against them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy holy memorial hallows us today as we celebrate it with faith, O righteous Father David, for thou didst pass thy life in holiness, O saint, and after thy falling asleep, thou dost continually rejoice with the saints. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Here's a key, for so thee is a light burning gate through which would pass the true light, Christ our God. Whom do thou earnestly supplicate to open to me the gates of repentance? O pure one, I pray. Thou didst avoid the merriment of the world as though it were filth, and causing thy flesh to wither away through fasting, thou didst build up the strength of thy soul, O venerable and glorious one. 
and wast enriched with heavenly glory. Wherefore cease thou never to entreat the Lord in our behalf. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, and the prayers of his holy and all pure Mother, whose holy, wonder-working icon from Tichvin we celebrate today, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the Holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, at the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great of Egypt, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molug, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors at the prayers of our righteous father David of Thessalonica, with the prayers of our righteous father John, bishop of the Goths in the Crimea, with the prayers of our righteous father Antion, who reposed in peace, with the prayers of the righteous martyr David, who struggled in asceticism in the Agia Anna Skid on the holy mountain Athos and contested for Christ being hanged in Thessalonica in 1813 with the prayers of the holy Hieromartyr Vigilius, Bishop of Trent, with the prayers of the holy martyr Pelagius of Cordova, who was cruelly slain by the Moors in 925, with the prayers of our father among the saints Dionysius, Archbishop of Susdal, with the prayers of Saint Tikhon of Luke, whose holy relics were translated on this day, with the prayers of Saint Branach of Broughton, with the prayers of St. Bablinus and St. Corbican of Ireland and those with them whose memory we also keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna and of all the saints have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.